welcome back to Drawing for Kids. To start off, let's go over what material you'll need. You'll need some Crayola markers, which you can use any color markers that you like. Next, you also need some paper. In addition to that, you'll need some black markers, such as Sharpies. Okay, so as I'm going along, I'll go step by step on how to draw this character, but I really like to invite you to add your own little twist to it to make it your own. There's no pressure to necessarily draw exactly what I have, but let's use that as a guidance to see what we can come up with. As always, remember to add in a little bit of your imagination to make it your own. You can do this drawing with your family and friends, and at the end of it, maybe check out how everybody's drawing turn out at the very end. Are you ready? So we're gonna get started. So today's drawing is gonna be a Disney princess. Can you guess which princess we're painting or drawing today? Well, let me give you a clue. She has a big yellow dress when she's in a gown. Can you guess which it is? That's right, it's Belle from Beauty and the Beast. So let's get started. As you can see here, I'm starting off with Belle's hair. She has these like curvy lines for her hair, almost like a wave. And then I'm gonna draw in her face. This is her chin right here on the bottom as I connect the line. For her eyes, I'm gonna do these like backward sixes, almost like a circle, but with a little bit curly round tail at the end. Those are gonna be her eyes. If you like, you can draw another circle inside and that will be the white glistening part. We're gonna leave white at the end after when we start drawing and coloring it in. Here I did a dot for her nose, but of course you can do a bigger nose or you can do a smaller nose as well. Now I'm gonna work on Belle's hair. Now this version of Belle is gonna be the one where she has half of her hair tucked up. For her ear, I've done a C and a smaller circle to kind of have a pearl earring for her. If you want, you can have a larger earring or a smaller earring. It could be a heart, it could be like a dangly earring as well. Here I'm just drawing part of her gown that is draped over the side of her shoulder. And then here's her neck extending down to her shoulder. She's going to be in her beautiful yellow gown. This is her head that's holding onto her dress. And of course, I need to draw the other hand as well. If you want, you can have one of her hand holding a rose or it could be a piece of cake or maybe Chip, the cup that was in the movie. Or maybe she has Lumiere sitting on her hand. So you can use your creativity and think about what is Belle looking at? What is she holding in her hand? So here's her top part of her dress. And of course, we have this beautiful gown that stretches underneath. So it's going to go underneath her hand here and extend downwards. So that's the top part of her gown. I'm going to do these small circles with half circles that will connect them. If you would like to draw a larger gown, so make sure to leave plenty of room for your piece of paper or maybe get a larger piece of paper where you're planning on doing a very large gown for Belle because I think that would look absolutely stunning. Unfortunately for me, I have a smaller piece of paper, but of course you can build and draw more layers for her dress beyond what you see here. Now I'm going to do these half circles that are kind of like detailing the end of her dress. I think these will be really nice and really fun to color in afterwards. Of course, we're not done her hair just yet. Her hair is kind of half tied up, but she still have her bangs. She has a little bit of her hair, wavy hair that's curved lines on the back, as you can see here. And I'm just gonna do one more layer for her dress so it kind of stretches out and I think this is looking actually very nice. What do you guys think? How is your bell looking like right now? So for my bell, I think I'll have her hold on to a rose. If you want, you can do other flowers or other characters as I mentioned before. So now we're done the outline for a bell. We're gonna start coloring now. Starting off with my peach color, I'm gonna 
color in her face, her ears, her shoulders, necks, and her arm. Grabbing my yellow marker, I'm now going to color in her dress. I think yellow is a traditional color for Belle from Beauty and the Beast, but of course, if you want to get a little creative or you're gifting this to a friend and you know her favorite color is purple, feel free to use other colors. Next, coloring in Belle's hair, I'm using kind of this burnt ombre or this brown color. I think maybe like a lighter shade would show the details of her hair a little bit more. Like I mentioned, use your creativity. If you like, you can have a strip of dyed pink hair if you really like pink hair. Or she can have rainbow hair or you can add on a bow to her hair as well. And of course, because I painted a rose, I'm going to use red to paint in the rose top. And I think I'm almost done here. If you would like to make this a little bit more unique, you can think about the background for where Belle will be located. For example, if she is at a ball, how does the ballroom look like? You may want to draw that in in the background or maybe she's in a winter wonderland outdoors in a snowy garden of course don't forget to color in the pupil of her eye it could be dark brown green blue whatever color you would like And that pretty much wraps it up for Belle from Beauty and the Beast. I hope you enjoyed the step-by-step -step drawing of this Disney princess. And I'll give you a closer look. But thank you so much for joining me. And hopefully I will see you in another Drawing with Sharon video coming up. Take care and stay creative everyone. Bye for now.